Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a first impressions on the foundation from Airborne. This is a company, I think they were originally based in the UK. Um, I really am so excited to try out this product because they're a company that's non-toxic, cruelty free, vegan, um, they're plant they're plant based botanical like um, makeup products, skincare, nutrition, lots of different things you guys can check out. I'll leave all the information down below. So this is the packaging. It feels like a little bit like plasticky, especially the lid. It doesn't look really high end. What I actually was really drawn to about this company is that they've pledged to go zero waste and completely recycle all their packaging um, very soon. That's what they had um, pledged within their recent business conference up in Vegas. And I thought that was incredible. I am so supportive of like sustainable makeup brands that really are trying to move forward kind of with the environment and also just like because it's vegan, cruelty free, I just, uh, it's plant based, like I just support all of that. So I'm really excited to try this out for you guys. It's non-toxic which is also really good so it's not going to be harmful on your skin. So I'll hold up a list of the ingredients for you guys to have a look in and see. I will make sure to link all the information that you need down below to check out if you would like. So this product is called the Perfecting Liquid Foundation with SPF 15 um, sunscreen which is really really good and I got the shade Neutral Beige. They have a range of colours on here. Um, they range from buff, deep beige, deep bronze, earthy beige, espresso, fair, golden beige, golden bronze, honey beige, porcelain, rosy beige, soft blush, toffee bronze, alabaster, and then neutral beige. I hope I'm neutral beige, guys. Like, I, I kind of just went with what I thought. I'm usually medium beige, and I thought all the golden ones were a bit too dark, so fingers crossed that it's the right one. So within this product you get about 30 mils, which is about the average amount you get with most foundations. So the website says that it's a multitasking liquid with skin firming properties which helps to lift the appearance of facial contours, smooth and even skin tone while providing some protection. But yeah, I think, should we, should we, get, should we get, so let's get to it. You won't just realise that I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my previous first impressions with the Raw Cosmetics brand. I'll leave it up in the cards below, um, above if you'd like to check out as well as in the description bar down below. But yeah. So I always prime with my 100% pure mattifying primer because this is one I usually go in with on an everyday basis and it's the one I've been using in my previous first impression like makeup videos. So I'm only going to pr apply it to one side of my face um, just so I can see what it, like how to um, wears throughout the day with primer and without primer. They do have like primers, skincare like I said, they actually have nutrition as well and it looks pretty good. Like I haven't fully checked out the full range of things so I'd like I said I will leave all the information if, down below if you would like to check them out. I've applied it to one side of my face. I actually think it's such a perfect day to try out too because I have some horrendous breakouts on the side of my face. I'm still not used to like the packaging part like I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that part. I am happy that it has a pump though. Like unlike my Fit Me one, which is just like you tip the bottle. I just think this is more hygienic. Mm, it comes out actually really smooth. I really do like that. That was good. Wow. The coverage, guys, initially is really good. Really, really good. Like that was just one swipe and it's already covered this much of my face. I'm actually really, really impressed. Ooh, it's so smoothly applied. It glides on so easy to blend in. And it looks like skin. I think I did a good colour choice too. I think that matches me pretty damn close. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> That's why choosing the colour, like when there's no medium beige, is the hardest thing. Like I always go, do I go darker? Do I go lighter? I'm always tossing. Damn, that coverage is so good. Ah. Oh. I'm so impressed with the coverage of it. Like, that was just one pump. And it's already covered, like, I'd say a good half or so of my face. Going on to three quarters. Like, mmm. So, I've got a second pump on the back of my hand now. And I'm just applying it to the bits that I need. So, it got about three quarters of the way across. And then I feel like it ran out. Like, I didn't have any more. And I think that's so good. Usually, I'm like, two pumps in and I still I'm still like needing more foundation 
so that's really good and i'm also more of like i don't tend to wear full full coverage so this to me is the perfect amount like i think it's about a medium to full coverage you can go fuller definitely like you can definitely build this up and i think i will build it up a little bit just on the areas that i need like it's already covered up those two breakouts here really well it's covered up the redness of my nose really well just with that one little bit like one little pump of makeup so i'm just gonna build it up in the areas that i need just a little bit more you can see like the redness on my cheeks a little bit my nose slightly and more just to cover up like these little babies i will probably go in concealer or maybe for the purpose of this video i'll just leave them with foundation just to see how the coverage plays out but damn girl i'm so happy with how this coverage is going and the application is just so smooth and yeah i've got a few scars up here just because i've like been popping my breakouts i'm notorious for that it's like super like it's not a good habit i'm trying to break it hence well i've got a few infected ones too like <laughs> It's not a good habit, guys. Don't bake, don't pop your breakouts. <laughs> so I didn't really say before, this doesn't really have a fragrance to it. There is not really a scent at all. And I'm actually alright with that. I'd rather a natural scent or no scent. I don't like the synthetic fragrance that they put in some foundations and things. And that just makes me break out anyways. So I'm already quite happy with that part of the product. So as you guys can see, that's the, the finish of the product on the skin. It it looks so good there's good coverage i mean it is more medium i've decided it is more of a medium coverage you can build it up a little bit like i've tried to build it up around here but i mean there's still a lot of redness showing through uh but that can also be covered up with concealer and things just originally with the foundation it's i'd say i'd say it's a medium my pores holy crap like i literally cannot see them they look so good it's covered up the bumps and lumps on my forehead really well. Like, there's not a lot of texture up there from what I can see. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't really highlight any of the breakouts going around my chin area, which I really like. But, yeah, I think I've definitely settled with the fact that it is more of a medium coverage on the skin. The colour is, like, literally almost flawless. Like, I would say maybe it's just, like, a shade too dark. But... I'm pretty proud of the choice. <laughs> I really like that they have a lot of different shades rather than just one, two or three, which a lot of these kind of products do. So I am quite happy that they do have a very good range of products. The price point, not sure how I feel about it yet. $44, that's actually pretty, pretty standard for a makeup. That was $44 US, however. I don't know what it was Australian, but US, they do distribute in Canada, the US, Australia, where else do they distribute? Um, New Zealand, and then Poland. Poland, I believe, is their other destination that they distribute. So, oh, my skin's just looking so good and so fresh, and it doesn't look too matte. I don't like a foundation that is too matte. Even though I am oily combination, I prefer something with, like, a little bit of life in it i think like something too much is just not my cup of tea so i am really loving how it's looking on my skin i'm gonna go apply some concealer and powder and i'll do my brows and everything and i'll be right back <laughs> so i'm back this is how it's looking with the brows on and i've just set it with a bit of concealer and powder i just use my raw powder because that's what i've been using lately to like in my everyday like makeup routine to set my face and then i just went in and just concealed around my eyes with my instant age rewind from maybelline these are just the two products that i use every day that's why i know how they react with different products so i know it won't interfere with the review i didn't apply like i said any to the breakouts on my face just because i don't want anything like impacting the final review of it so it's currently about 9.52, so I'll say it's around like 10 o'clock. So I'll be back in a couple of hours to show you guys how it's still wearing. Like I'll do the rest of my, you know, base products and everything like that. But yeah, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I'm back. It's currently 10 to 12, so it's been about two or three hours. I think it was nine, was it, when I... 9.30 when I first checked in with you guys or like first 
apply the makeup. So I'm really happy with how it's sitting so far. It's been about two or three hours. It hasn't really changed. It's still sitting so smooth over my pores. I cannot believe it. It hasn't really gripped on to any like dry patches or like my um, texture or anything. Like I said, it isn't really covering, like, it's not doing the most for this breakout here, actually. Like, I just feel like it's not really covering it. I feel like it's going to fade there. Like, I just have a feeling. I did apply, like, some powder over my whole face. Um, but I just feel like, I don't know, it's not doing the most for this, like, breakout. It's doing pretty well for these ones, but this is the most angry and red. But yeah, I'm still super happy with, happy with how it's going on my skin. I mean, it's only been three hours, so we will see further down the track. I also forgot to mention before, I did take some photos using flash photography to see if it had any, like, bounce back. Like, if there was any, like, white cast left on my skin. Like, some foundations can have that kind of reflect, what is it called? Like, when it just, like, you get this white mask on your face. And as you guys can see in these pictures, there is no flashback. It is all looking super flawless and natural on my skin. Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. The flash doesn't accentuate anything. So it's flash photography approved. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll check with you guys in a few hours again, see how it's wearing. See you then. Hey guys, so it's currently 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And I am loving how my skin is going. It's actually really like holding up really really well so actually surprisingly <laughs> I didn't expect this but it hasn't actually faded any more over my like um, breakouts down here let me zoom you in for this one so as you guys can see it's holding up really well like the coverage around my breakouts if anything it actually looks like it's really sunken and looks more like skin now than it did a few hours ago like my skin actually is looking so good I'm actually finding the side that I primed is holding up a lot better than the side that I didn't prime. So I primed like this side of my face and it's still looking so smooth and flawless, especially over my pore areas. However, on this side, it's starting to cake up like around my nose area. It's not clinging though to any of the breakouts on my face, which is really, really good. Like it's no dry patches or like cakiness looking. My forehead's looking really, really good. You can start to see the texture showing through, however, on my forehead as the makeup's wearing. Um, whereas before, I feel like it looked a little bit more smoother. However, my overall, like, skin is still looking really, really good. I'm really happy with how it's holding up. There hasn't been any deterioration in coverage, I would say. And even around my mouth where I've been eating, there hasn't been any deterioration, which happens a fair bit. bit. And also around my nose, because I have quite a runny nose today. I've been wiping it and it hasn't deteriorated around there either, which is really, really good. But yeah, I do feel like overall, I do feel like my prime side is holding up better than the unprimed side. So I probably would say at this stage... I do recommend that you wear a primer with this foundation. So I am really, really happy with how my makeup's looking, how the base is going. So I'll check in with you guys at around 6pm, so I'll see you then. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's 6pm and it's a little dark outside, so I'm using, like, you know, light, right, lights right now, so it's not natural lighting. But as you can see, it's still held up really well. It hasn't faded really at all that I can see. It hasn't creased or caked up which is so good i mean it definitely has super like caked up around my pool area where i get quite oily otherwise though it stayed on really 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 well like to my surprise it's like i said before the prime side has definitely lasted a lot better than the unprimed side just with like creasing or caking around the nose like the unprimed side it's definitely stayed a lot smoother. My pores are a lot smoother and everything like that. But yeah, that wraps up today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any requests for any other products that you'd like me to review or try out, let me know down below in the description bar. Otherwise, guys, make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe down below to my channel. I'd love to see you guys join my YouTube fam. Have an amazing day. I love you all so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.